Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here with another video and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a review on the John Deere 6R185 by Britons. Uh, this is a new released model on the market um, and from what I can tell it's a beautiful looking machine. Um, this is the new design which has the new stickers, it has a big uh, fatter stickers I suppose and then has new design wing mirrors as you can see they're a bit green there and they have a bit of black on them you know so <clears throat> this model has been finished off lovely the wheels are nice, the back linkage, the cab is done very well as well and the bonnet is exceptional and um, Britons were kind enough to give this, uh, to gift this model to myself and Stephen here at Model Farmer 6710 and uh, myself and Stephen and all the team are very appreciated, appre uh, appreciative. So we're very thankful. So thanks very much, Britons. And we would like to commend your work and effort you're after putting into this model because from what I can tell, this is an absolute masterpiece. But uh, getting into the box here, guys, as you can see, it says down the bottom, 6R185. It's John Deere certified. So you get this in any of the dealerships uh, when it's released. I believe it's released next week. This is on the Thursday, so it'll be out within the next week. And uh, the new sticker on it, brand new, and the Britons and Age 3 Plus. But um, then starting off, going around the box, you can see 6185R, and you see it in action there. It's um, It looks unreal there. And then if we keep going around here, we have it there again. We have the John Deere badge here, certified. And look at that, milling through the field. I think it has a bit of a, yeah, it has a, it has a drill on the back, sewn. And uh, as you can see, the mirrors are different and the stickers. And uh, I don't believe there's a front linkage on this model. Um, I think it's an A-frame, but we'll have a look. 6 or 185. So they, they've done a nice job in the box. I have to give it to them up top here. And then down below, you just have your information. Obviously, Tom, uh, Tommy and then... It's uh, Britain's bush. Um, let's get into unboxing it and thank you very much, Britain's, for sending this out to us. So, here we have just a bit of a in there. Right, our marine. So, excuse my dirty hands, I was just uh, doing a modification series video there. But here we have, so putting the box away and moving in to the main tractor. Look at that paintwork. My God, boys, that is a nice tractor. And um, I suppose firstly we'll start by taking off this uh, this backboard. I suppose um, it's going to be a bit tricky to get out. I suppose, but it's doable. I'll take off this here. Make everything easier. I suppose without damaging the box or damaging the tractor. But, uh, I pull this out now. There's a few strings. I just uh, kind of pull it up there without breaking anything. And it's out of the box. <laughs> so moving this way, this is just literally just cardboard with a yellow background on it. And the model can sit back in there safely if you needed to transport it. But here we have it. it has the few strings on it. So we'll pull these through and get these out of here. We might need a knife either, will we? I don't know. And just this one here. No. Bit of sellotape around the cab, but boys, look at that. Bit of sellotape will just take off here. Um, they wanted to make sure this model was safe and sound when they were, uh, when they were packaging up, I suppose. All I do here, I may get a bit of a knife. Is there one there? I wouldn't recommend. I don't have a knife on me at the minute, and uh, I just have to. I suppose I have to do the video in one shot today, as uh, literally the the editing app, the editing app is down, and it has to go up tomorrow. So that's why I'm having a few falls. But here we are. We have it all perfect. Look at that. Now, as you can tell, the front lights are nice. The cab is finished off well. You have your wing mirrors. 
they don't fold in and out but they're very sturdy to be fair to them we have a little a-frame here that can go up and down it can't and the steering lock on it there it looks fierce well my god and the three steps going up into the cab because it's the medium size chassis and frame reverse them back here you have all your warning signs here and to turn off your pto and raise your link arms at the back of the tractor that's something i've never seen britons do before so to be fair to them they've done a nice job on that you have your work lights your thing along the cab there's room for a bit of a reg plate up there there's gps uh, starfire and um that is a well spec piece of equipment i have to give it to britons they done a lovely job on this and wow i can't get over it and um, i believe these are about 40 euro in the shops um and it's well worth i'm gonna buy a few um i'm thinking of um putting a, a front linkage on this one taking off this a-frame just by looking at it here maybe putting on some realistic beacons and literally that's all it needs so um the wheels are nice on it i suppose you can put big wheels on it if you really wanted to but it's actually a well spec piece of equipment um but thank you very much britons for sending this out to us and look at that the side of the bonnet there the stickers are looking well inside the cab i believe the cab lifts off uh, I remember your man showing me. Maybe this one doesn't. <laughs> oh no, there we are. Don't want to break anything. You look here. You can see your your steering wheel. Steering wheel moves like that. You have your screen which is on. Your it's a direct drive on it, and then you have your loader here. So it's well done. You have your passenger seat, so you can lift off your cab and put a, a man in it, so it looks like he's driving it, and then. This is the cab, we'll look at it in a bit of detail here. So you can lift off them very, fair easy if you wanted to, if you needed to. And look at that. I'm very pleased that this guy's... That is a well spec. Um, and as you see your GPS and stuff. And then that just clicks back on. Small little details like the, the toolbox in here. As you can see, it has a little John Deere sticker on it. The fuel tank looks well. Bit of, there's an add blue tank there as well. If you can see, you see the little blue cap. That's for your add blue. And three steps up into the cab, you have your normal Britain's hitch. Goes up and down, lovely. And I uh, suppose anything will fit onto the back of that nicely. But um, thank you very much, Britain's, for sending this out to Model Farmer 6710. We appreciate it. And... Uh, Guys, if you are interested in these, let us know what you think about them. What's your what's your uh, view on them? I know myself and Stephen very like them. Um, but thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.